previously on balls. Hello. Uh, Connor. Yeah. Hey, how's it, Dad? I'm all right, thanks. How are you? All right, thank you. John just said that you've just come out the show. No doubt uh, a bit of pre-season going on already. Yeah, well, we, it's been about two weeks now since we started. And um, it doesn't get any easier. It's haze. You know, it's got its own challenges. Now, Kona, I mean, I remember probably around about the time you, you would have started, pre-season started just after New Year. They're now moving it a month earlier, just about every year, starting pre-season in September. Yeah, I think, you know, I think the reason why for that is because um, there's a lot of games that we're playing, like, each year, and they start, like, in Feb. You know, I think we're playing our first friend here in the second of February. Yeah. So, I think, you know, it makes sense to actually start, like, a month, like, two months before, start preparing, and, you know, I'm getting getting ready for that. Yeah. And... So, yeah. It, I chatted to Jandre a little earlier on, just uh, asking about pre-season. You guys pretty much staying and basing yourselves at Loftus, and I think you're just getting away sometime in January for a few days just for a team get-together. Is that right? Um, well, we're staying at Loftus uh, for the whole um, um, time for the off-season, and then we're going away to Rustenburg for like three days before uh, you know, a small team building mm. um, and staying there for a couple of, a couple of days. And uh, we play for the Christmas. All right, and and which team? I mean, do you, which competitive games are you guys playing as part of preseason? Uh, we've got three friendlies. We've got uh, one against the Lions uh, on the second of Feb. Uh, that's in Orlando Stadium, so it was. And then we've got the weekend after against the Cheetahs. I think that's in Polugwane. Okay, so you uh, getting to play some uh, venues that? Yeah, it'll be nice for you guys to get back to uh, back to Orlando. That'll be your first yes, first trip back definitely. since that uh, semi and final, right? Yeah, no, definitely. We've got some fun memories of that place. So it's going to be nice to go back there and um, you know play. And, mm. You know, just take um, a couple of games that side. So yeah, we're looking forward to it. It's going to be interesting. You're playing the Lions there because I mean the Lions have been sort of hinting that. They might want to uh, look at moving to Soweto, but I mean, you guys planted your flag there before they did, so it'll be yeah. interesting to see where who, who Soweto backs in that game. Yeah, definitely, and I think, like you said, they've been saying they wanted to go that side, and um, you know, it's going to be interesting when, when after like after the game, and if they still say they want to go back or what. Yeah. But um, you know, like you said, we had some good times there. So, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah, that is a memorable, memorable yeah. time, and. Oh, uh, I think I think uh, most of Soweto still are very much behind uh, behind the Bulls after that that yeah, experience yeah, as well. And I still think we'll get a good reception that side. So yeah, yeah it's going to be very nice. I, I, I was just obviously uh, talking to some of the guys there at uh, at Loftus as well during the course of the last uh, last year, and uh, I, I mean I believe that your biggest support base for the Bulls is actually in the Eastern Cape. Yeah, funny enough, that's what I've been hearing myself. And, um, you know, it's actually strange to actually think that's the case. But, um, you know, it just shows how much, um, you know, uh, the game is loved by the people. And, mm. you know, and especially from the Eastern Cape. Yeah. And, as, as you know, for me, I'm from that area. So it's actually a, um, something that um, I really appreciate. And I think, you know, um, we need to keep on doing what we're doing because definitely they see that we're doing something right. You know, if you can have such a support base from that area. Yeah. But uh, I think you yeah. guys play the Kings uh, in Pretoria, is that right? Um, actually, I haven't seen the, th- the picture for that long, but I know the first couple of games that we took at the Stormers and the Western Force. Yeah. I'm not sure about uh, Kings if we got them here first or there. I think yeah, I think the Kings, if I'm not mistaken, they got the force in PE, and I think they go to uh, they come to Pretoria to play you guys next. I might be mistaken though, so uh, I'm not 100 yeah. percent sure. It'd be awesome if if you do play them down in Port Elizabeth because the Bulls might have might have more support there as well. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it might be like a home game for us. Exactly. Yeah. Might, might start yeah, playing a few games there. Yeah, but no, definitely. I'm for my side as well. I'm looking forward to going there. Um, like I said, especially coming from that area, mm-hmm. um, you know, so looking forward to going there and, you know, just playing against the Kings and all. And for them, it's the first time playing Triple Rugby, right so it's going to be exciting. Yeah. Listen, uh, yeah. P- PGA clap for Akona as well. Yes.
players. Good job. Congrats. Vodacom Bulls Super Rugby Players Con- Player of the Year. Congratulations on winning the Vodacom Bulls Super Rugby Players Player of the Year. And uh, to all the other guys, I wonder, what did you win uh, when you got that award? Um, we got um, some nice trophies that we got to take home. So based up there in my... Um, Cabinet, so, Fantastic. Yeah, uh, nicely there. To, go with, to go with all those nice medals and stuff that you've won yeah. with the Bulls over the years. Yes, yeah. I was yeah. saying you also got Back of the Year as well, award as well. Back of the Year, so a couple yeah. of awards. Oh, yes. Yeah, that too. Awesome stuff. Yeah. We look forward to seeing you back in action in the uh, in the New Year. I want to enjoy the preseason. Have a great uh, great Christmas and holiday period. And uh, we'll, be, we'll chat to you again sometime in the New Year and see you back in action in February with the Bulls. Thank you very much. Uh, you guys must also have a great um, holiday. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Akona. Cheers, bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. There we go. That was odd way, actually. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Daryl, sorry. Look that was odd way. That was, that was odd way, pretending to be a corner. I think they've been, they've been doing this for the last uh, two, three years. We should have put them on together. I think they'll get away with it, honestly. <laughs> I don't bring it up with them anymore because I did actually one day at Loftus when they, was, uh, they were playing the Sharks. And uh, a corner was injured, and they were sitting. Uh, they were sitting there before the game, both of them next to each other. And I said to them, "Okay, come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done it yet? <laughs> no. Would you do it?" And they just laughed. <laughs> I planted the seed. <laughs> this is Bulls Visual Radio. Darren, Simon, Kate, and John. Weekdays from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central African Time. Bulls.co.za.